Hello there. I'm Dr. Thomas Gerber, Associate Editor and Web Editor at Mayo Clinic Proceedings. I'm also a Professor of Medicine and Radiology at the Mayo Clinic College of Medicine. Let's spend a few moments on the Editor's Choice and Highlights articles in the July 2016 issue of Mayo Clinic Proceedings. Our Editor's Choice this month addresses precision medicine as it pertains to the prescribing of antidepressants in psychiatry. This article was written by Dr. Malik Nassan and colleagues from Mayo Clinic in Rochester. Can we use knowledge of certain genetic variations to develop antidepressant prescribing guidelines for psychiatry that reduce adverse effects, increase response rates and increase overall effectiveness? In this article, you will learn how genetic testing for two cytochrome P450 variants can be used to individualize the choice of antidepressants for different patients. The accompanying editorial was written by Dr. Sheldon Presscorn from the University of Kansas School of Medicine in Wichita, Kansas. He strongly believes that genetic testing will be increasingly used in psychiatry and that it is important to understand new pharmacokinetic and pharmacogenetics concepts to optimally individualize treatment strategies for major depression. Our first highlight in the July 2016 issue of Mayo Clinic Proceedings is a special article about adult onset hypogonadism. This article arose from an expert colloquium commissioned by the Sexual Medicine Society of North America that discussed the common clinical scenario of low testosterone in middle-aged and older men. This article was written by Dr. Mohit Kera from Baylor College of Medicine in Houston, Texas, and colleagues from several national healthcare institutions, including Mayo Clinic and Cleveland Clinic. This article is meant to help you develop a deeper understanding of adult onset hypogonadism, in particular understanding how it is different from classical primary and secondary hypogonadism, and also an understanding of what is important in the diagnosis, treatment, and follow-up. The second highlight in this month's issue touches on the similar subject of testosterone deficiency and its treatment. This article, too, arose from an international expert consensus conference and was written by a writing group that includes members from various medical institutions under the leadership of Abraham Morgenthaler from Harvard Medical School in Boston, Massachusetts. Among numerous conclusions, the conference faculty found that testosterone deficiency is a global public health concern, that testosterone therapy for men with testosterone deficiency is effective, rational, and evidence-based, and that the evidence does not support increased risks for cardiovascular events or prostate cancer with testosterone therapy. The third highlight in the July 2016 issue of Mayo Clinic Proceedings addresses the relationship between the clerical burden and the characteristics of the electronic environment on the one hand, with physician burnout and physician professional satisfaction on the other. This article was authored by Dr. Ty Schanefeld and colleagues from Mayo Clinic in Rochester and from the American Medical Association in Chicago. Based on survey responses from almost 6,400 physicians, the authors found that almost 85% of physicians now use an electronic health record or computerized physician order entry and that those physicians who did were less satisfied with the amount of time spent on clerical tasks and were at higher risk of professional burnout than the few who didn't. As usual, you can access the highlights and Editor's Choice articles that you just heard about for free on our website during the entire month of July. Our newly redesigned Mayo Clinic Proceedings website at www.mayoclinicproceedings.org also has other free content and there is something new to look at almost every day. You can also stay in touch with us on Facebook, Twitter and YouTube. We use our social media channels to keep you up to date on online first publications that appear on our website between the monthly issue updates on news stories related to articles that were published in Mayo Clinic Proceedings, and to host video content such as the full author interviews or our 60-second video article summaries. Thank you for listening. We'll see you again in August.
We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our home page is www.mayocliniceproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.